Hi Penners, how you doing? Today we've come to pedal a bike away at Forrester Dean. I know we come here a fair bit, but this was a perfect place to come and meet the Pinned Ambassadors. So those of you who got a keen eye will have been watching our media and seen that we are representing two top racers for 2019, and they are kind of representing us as well. So you got a leader and overall winner of the UK GE series before it finished, and that is Katie Wakeley. She's an absolute ripper and a really nice person. Also, the same in the juniors, we have Harvey Rollison. Harvey is kind of top three junior in enduro in the country. He has won some, he's always podium. Um, he's the same as Katie. Real good racers, really professional, really decent people. So we've hooked up with them as brand ambassadors for Pin TV. So maybe you want to know what a brand ambassador is. Basically, nowadays we're racing, a massive part of racing is all the media tags and media sharing. So we decided they give it the pin TV on all their media tags. We share some of their stuff. We do some videos with them. We help each other out. We help them with our sponsors and people we're hooked up with. And hopefully it'll be a fantastic relationship for racing and for joint media efforts so let's go and meet them let's have a brew and then we're going to go out riding and see exactly how fast harvey and katie are i think i probably struggle to keep up with both of them right katie how are you all right good thank you are you feeling fit and ready to ride um i'm feeling ready to ride i'm not sure about the fit part but yeah see. for the pinners who don't know who you are yeah. uh firstly how did you get on? Let's let's look at 2018. How did you get on race results, etc.? Um, okay, so yeah, so last year was probably my uh, biggest year so far. Um, yeah. Only been riding a few years now, racing a few years. Last year, um, did the full Southern Enduro Series. Um, won every every round there, so undefeated in, in that series so That's far. elite female, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I did uh, I think I did a couple of Welsh Gravities. Um, won those as well. Um, obviously did the uh, Red Bull uh, Fox Hunt as yeah. well last year. Um, it was the end of the year in um, Dudley Forest. Or up that way, sorry. Um, won that, yeah. uh, which was awesome. And also the UKGE um, before it sort of so you were leading that before was, it finished? Yeah, I was leading that before it finished. Yeah. Okay. And your your background is, uh, as well as mountain biking, is the is motocross, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So, um, from six years old, um, Dad bought both me and Si um, little, little uh, they were Lem 50s at the time. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we did that all the way up until I was about, we were about 19, 20. Yeah. Um, had a pretty successful career doing that. And then stopped for a bit then, and then um, went and played a bit of rugby. Did you? I found the mountain rugby? Bikes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you've always gone for the easy easy option. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you've ridden a lot with your brother as well, haven't you, in the past? Yeah. Um, yep. If you want to just explain, he's we're here with us today and we'll see yes. him out on the trail. Yeah. Um, he's big, was big in Joro motorbikes, wasn't he? Yeah, so... Um, I sort of gave up the motocross, so I went on and carried on with um, motorcycle enduro and yeah. had a pretty pretty awesome career with that as well. Yeah. Um, I can't quote exactly what he did, he'd be able to correct me I'm sure. But he rode for Husseberg, didn't he? Uh, yeah, Husseberg, Husqvarna, um, I think he won a few British championships as well. Um, pretty average then. Yeah, he, um, I think he was second I think at one of the European, European enduro rounds, I think the one that was held in Wales. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he's done alright, done a few world rounds, done a few ICEs as well. Um, so for him, obviously mountain biking has been good training for him all the way through um, that part of his career. Um, yeah. And then I used to muck about with him a little bit. And then um, obviously the last few years we've both sort of transferred to the uh, mountain biking. He's quick at it as well, isn't yeah, he? he's pretty good, yeah. I remember riding with him at the UK Enduro a couple of years ago and I can believe how quick he was. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what's what's your sort of plan for 2019 race wise and hopes and dreams all that kind of thing? Um, just do as many races as possible, really. Yeah. I'm um, gonna do the full national series um, this year. Yeah. Um, probably try and do all of the sevens again. Um, a few. 
few um, sort of one-off like Ard Rock and stuff. Yeah. I haven't got an entry yet though, but I'd like to. Uh, I'm sure we can sort that out. Try and do something like that. Any, any, anything really. I can, I can do as many races as possible. What about anything abroad? Um, I've looked at doing the European yeah. um, series. Um, I think there's one in got around in Scotland um, later on in the year, so I'll probably head up and do that one. Um, maybe aim for an EWS by the end of the year, but we'll, we'll see how it goes, see how the season goes. And uh, obviously you've got the best awesome sponsor in the world with Pinned. <laughs> do you want to talk about your other sponsors? Uh, yeah, so um, bike comes from Don Skeen Cycles, um, yeah. bike shop in Cardiff. Um, and then I've got um, a bit of help from Fabric, yeah. the saddles, um, grips, that sort of stuff. Um, obviously the RRP mug guards. Yeah. Um, I've got six element wheels. Yeah. Um, and I've got running the um, Michelin, new Michelin uh, mountain bike tyres from Enduro Tyres. Right. Uh, the other one I did forget was like the specialised kit, so like how yeah. have shoes okay. and all that stuff. That's all new to me this year, so that'd be cool. So Kate, I've got to ask you. Right. And this sort of, uh, the mountain bike world is a very sort of blokey influence thing. Do you ever get like, do you ever feel any sort of peer pressure? Because obviously you're as quick as, well, you. a lot of the fast people I know, put it that way. Do you ever feel any peer pressure to go faster to sort of prove yourself or anything like that? Or do you just not sort really. of middle finger to the lot yeah, of them? Yeah, not really. Yeah. I just do, you know, do my thing and ride how I, you know. How I ride, sort of thing. Do you ever, Don't worry too much. Have you ever had it like um, when you go out riding somewhere and there'd be like sort of macho type blokes and they'd be like, excuse oh, yeah. me, love, yeah, and then a, you just yeah. totally surprise them? Oh, yeah, that's a different story. I bet when, that feels as amazing. Soon, as soon as somebody says something like that, yeah, yeah that, you get a bit of a bit yeah, of between yeah. your teeth. Especially, it's more um, like, you know, like you're sitting around waiting at the top of the trail or something and then somebody comes along, sees there's a group of women or something, and they like push on in, you know? Yeah. And you're like, right. I Get bet you love doing that yeah. though, don't you? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Especially when my brakes are squeaky as well, because I yeah. know I'm having to brake behind them. Yeah, the squeaky brakes are awesome, like reminder that someone's in your way. Yeah. Okay, you're obviously not shy of pedalling, yeah, which I can sorry, see. Yeah. You're going to pretend you're not fit, but yeah. do you have a personal trainer or have you got a strict regime? Um, good question. Uh, so last year I did, I had a PT. Yeah. Um, for just purely strength and conditioning, um, and then did all of the obviously, bike stuff on my own. Yeah. Um, this year, um, I've kind of sat the, sat the PT off a little bit. Yeah. Um, I know a little bit about it, so I've just sort of spend a bit of time in the gym over the winter doing basic strength movements and stuff. Yeah. Um, with a bit of bike work um, and just some sort of high intensity stuff, really. Lots of squats, yeah. lots of sprints on the spinning bike, that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I, to be honest, I tend to do most of my sprint work and actually on this because yeah. it's what I'm going to be riding, what I'm going to be racing, yeah, so yeah. I tend to use this. Yeah, I tend to, in the gym, I just try and stick to strength work, Yeah. to be honest. Um, I, you know, full-time work and stuff, I don't have a massive amount of time, yeah. so it has to be quality stuff at night when I'm inside, and then days off, I just get out on my bike, yeah, just ride okay. as much as I can, to be honest. Cool, and you, are you one of these who, when you go on a ride, any sort of ride, you always beast yourself, or do you have steady no, rides? No, yeah. so if I'm... So if I've come off a set of shifts or something, I may have sort of done a bit of gym work. Yeah. The first ride will always be quite steady. Yeah. I've got a cross-country bike as well, so it might just be a couple think, of hours on Yeah, there. I think a lot of people don't realise how much you've got to have your rest days yeah. as well, how important yeah. it is. Yeah. Okay, following Katie. <laughs> and I keep up. So let's see how fast one of the UK's fastest girls is. I can tell you straight away, fast. Hell. Already struggling to keep up. Come on. Can I use the hard tail as an excuse? I might have to in a minute. Whoa, shit. Oh, I nearly died then. <laughs> so, she looks very precise, very strong on a bike. Great to see. Certainly knows how to handle a cycle. Just draw the line there, try and catch her up. Look. 
popping these off camera routes like it's nothing fair play I'm pretty bloody impressed Sai Wei Klee I haven't spoke to you yet how are you mate? yeah good yeah. Um, how does it feel seeing your sister sort of doing so well in the mountain bike world? Uh, she's just taking my limelight isn't she? Yeah, exactly. No, yeah. she's really good. She's been, so do you been ride with, with her a lot? Yeah, we try to. Yeah. yeah. Mainly um, when we we catch up and, uh, you know, working. We don't always get to ride with each other, but it's, it's quite good. Yeah. Yeah, we, um, yeah, we've got a good little local spot near us, so. Are you quite competitive with each other? Yeah. I, don't, I imagine so. Yeah, I don't think we are massively, but yeah, we, we are very competitive yeah so yeah, yeah i was just good. watching her off these jumps she doesn't hang about does she no no sometimes it's uh it's a bit embarrassing when she goes quick or, or <laughs> she looks better yeah. yeah so here we have harvey rollison and his dad paul how are you good you happy yeah. to be here today mm. pedal the bike away we're going to pedal our bikes away in a bit yeah, <laughs> so let's go back to your racing and your riding how it all started uh, well, I started riding when I was just before my third birthday. I got off my stag lovers, didn't I? So, but that was just like just riding around the streets and stuff. But then I started because my dad used to race XC. I yeah. just started doing like the little XC races that they had when I was, was I three or four. Yeah, yeah, just like a little. Yeah, and I used to do them quite a lot, and then. I started to get into it more, I was going around Canuck and that, just like trying to get better and better and just racing XC really and then yeah. when I was about eight I stopped riding because I started doing go-karting. Yeah. So I stopped for a couple that of years. That cost you a fortune. That. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. So we ended up stopping that because it was just ridiculously expensive like, to compete and then um, I started to get back into mountain biking just racing XC still. but. Ever since I was like three or four, I, always, I just used to like be glued to the telly watching Earth DVDs. Yeah. So I always wanted to do downhill, but as I, as I got older, like I started to learn about enduro because that's what my dad started racing. Yeah. And I was like, that's perfect because it's like in between downhill, which I loved and I always wanted to do, and cross country, which I was yeah. quite good at. So that was always my main goal, but they didn't really have enduro races for my age. When I was like 12 or 13, there wasn't much that I could do. Yeah. So. How old are you now? I'm 17 now. 17, you yeah. have to think about that. Then. <laughs> yeah. So were you, were, you the, were you the pushy dad type, or were you the get on with it and let's see if he likes it? Um, well, we just got into it really. It was just, it was just, I wanted him to do something rather than just hanging around the streets. Yeah. And like Sunday morning, Saturday mornings, we'd get up early and just go and do our little ride. And I started to notice he was staying on my tail for most of the trails. Yeah. And he was only sort of seven or eight. Really? Yeah, and he was right on my back wheel. And then, you know, I sort of put him into racing for a couple of years. Um, and, then, and then we got into the go kart, in which sort of he lost a bit of time riding the bike. He still used to ride your bike. Yeah. But then um, we realised we were never going to compete with the yeah. likes of Lando Norris. Yeah. Who've just gone into Formula One, do you know what I mean? So it's it's more of a money game that Yeah, as well, yeah, it's checkbook it? racing. Yeah. But um but yeah we said, come on, let's go back to mountain biking, that's something I can afford to do and, and we might be able to get you to the top and from that point then I said, Right, come on, let's do it properly. So we went and joined Litchfield Cycling Club mm -hmm. where they noticed that I was quite good on a mountain bike and I could ride. So they that's yeah. when I started doing a lot of cyclocross as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I, be, I became a coach then. Haven't you got to call that gravel biking now? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think it is, isn't it? yeah, everyone seems to call it that. Yeah. So you've got a good history in the biking then? Yeah, well I used to do motocross when I was yeah. younger um, and, and loved all of that side of it, but then when I brought a house, realised that that was more important than keeping your engines yeah. tuned and yeah, yeah. everything else. So yeah. I, got, I got into the mountain biking when I was 22, just trying to keep myself fit and out of the pub. So, yeah. you know, it was just. Um, just a progression really, they never really sort of aimed to be a mountain bike, it just happened. So Harvey, your, let's look at your results for last year. Well last year, my main focus was going to be the UK Gravity. Yeah. So for the first three rounds of that, I got a fourth, a first and then another fourth. Yeah. So that put me second overall in the standings when yeah. I ended. So 
So I was pretty good about that because that was good. They were good races. Yeah. And there was quite a high quality of rider there, so it was quite competitive. And oh, I didn't do a lot of racing last year, did I? I was no, just doing a lot of odd ones that. What about outstanding yeah. results? Was there anything that stuck in your mind? Um, well, winning at Eastridge for the UK Gravity. Yeah. That was, that was a good one. Yeah. Then winning Hard Rock as well. That was in the juniors? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Where would you have been overall in Hard Rock with that result? Um, I think you must have looked. Well, I can't really compare because they don't let the juniors do the full loop. Oh, right. So okay. they only let, I don't know why, but they only let the juniors Can do, you like do the, the full one this year? No, because I'm still in the juniors. So. Right. Uh, and we didn't enter it, did we? Because I think we're going on holiday around that time. Yeah, right, okay. So let's talk about training because you've got Alan Milway on the case, so yeah. you're really taking it seriously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, um, that's a big commitment, isn't it? Yeah, he's a really good coach. Like, he, he works with me in the gym and like on the turbo and stuff, just getting fit and getting strong because yeah. that's like a main thing for me at the moment because I'm quite young, I just need to like build strength. Yeah. Powers. Yeah, strength and power, but he, it's good because he really works on like getting your technique nailed before yeah. he like piles the weight on so that you're doing everything right and you can get the most out of it. Really. Mm. He's share with some of the pros as well. Yeah. Pro to do yeah, that's good. And he likes a big challenge as well because obviously he's taking Cy Payton on to see if he can beat me. So he must yeah. really yeah. like a challenge. Yeah. You know, he's got. He, he might not have time for you actually this year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he might just have to do that full time. Yeah. Well, so. You've got hobbies to chase now. I know, well, I won't get near him. <laughs> so, hopes and dreams 2019. So, for 2019, I'm going to be racing the Continental European Enduro Series. Yeah. I'm going to try and do every single round in that. So, that'll be going over to the furthest one is Slovenia, yeah. Yeah. So, that's quite a trek away. And then there's, there's a round in Scotland and yeah. France and stuff. So, All that's going to be good. But I don't really know how I'm going to do in that because I don't know what the quality of riders is really in Europe. So, so finally, what about you know your sponsors that you've got now? Um, well, I've got something for next year. But yeah. That all sort that all needs to be finalised. Yeah. So Watch this space. Yeah. Well, we've we've hooked you up, haven't we, with Fenwicks? Mm -hmm. Fenwicks and, and RRP. Yeah, which is so, ace. Yeah, some quality guards. And you hooked up with Crank Brothers. Yeah. That's brilliant. So that's, it's nice when you I'm you getting, know when we got shared sponsors. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be getting some good stuff out of Crank Brothers. So ace. synthesis wheels. Yeah. That look really good. Oh, you know well. Following Harvey yeah. this time. Okay. Hey, like So I've had to ask Harvey to follow someone who'll slow him down a bit to be honest because I won't keep up with him at all otherwise I'm already struggling Whoa! <laughs> what was that all about? <laughs> As you see by Harvey's style, he's like super fluid on a bike being a young lad. Makes it all look very bloody easy. Very annoying. And he's taking all the, I've noticed when I've ridden with him before, he takes all like the nice racer lines. God that was steep. Right, if you can't tell on me, go slow. This is super steep. Oh, shit. Wow. Right, so I hope you enjoyed this vlog with our two brand ambassadors. Be sure to give them a follow on the media. Uh, I'll have already put up their um, social media tags. So from us, the pinned ambassadors, Keep it pinned, see you later.